N95 masks are specific respirators used to protect you from breathing in harmful materials. They're certified to filter out at least 95% of airborne particles, and they've also got specific limits on how much they can restrict airflow to make sure they remain breathable. Hi there, I'm Court with Total Prepare. Today, taking a look at N95 masks, what they are, and when you should wear them. NIOSH certified N95 masks cover the nose, mouth, chin, and have two head straps that go behind the head for a tight and secure fit. There are also common alternatives that come with an ear loop instead to aid in comfort and ease of use. Dentex is a Canadian company that manufactures masks like this one. The mask's filtration meets or exceeds US and Canadian N95 standards, but they are certified differently as they do not have the behind the head strap design. N95 masks use a similar material to the ASTM Level 3 mask, which are also commonly known as a surgical or medical mask. Level 3 masks are generally adequate for protecting others from your own respiratory emissions, but they are not as good at protecting yourself from others breathing or from environmental hazards. These masks are generally similar, but provide much less protection from airborne particles as they are not required to seal tightly to the wearer's face. Masks are a great defense against transmissible diseases. They help prevent airborne germs from spreading, and they prevent people from touching their hands and noses and then wiping it on surfaces. Germs are everywhere, so when should you consider wearing a mask? Generally speaking, anytime you're going somewhere that people are going to be carrying a lot of extra germs, that's when you should consider wearing a mask. Uh, this includes places like hospitals or uh, anywhere with large crowds in cold and flu season. Masks are also excellent protection against dust and other airborne hazards such as fiberglass. This means you should always wear a mask if you need to be in or around damaged buildings. Finally, consider wearing a mask if it makes you more comfortable. It is a great idea to put masks in your emergency kit as well. Airborne particulate and smoke inhalation can cause major damage to your lungs. And while most N95s aren't certified for smoke inhalation, Wearing one is a lot better protection than no mask at all. One thing to note is that N95 masks don't protect very well against gases or chemicals, only physical particulates. There are many mask certifications that follow similar standards. It's likely you've heard of them over the past few years. The N95 certification is actually an American standard, while the Canadian standard is the CA N95. There's also the Chinese KN95 and the Korean KF. 94. Uh, these masks generally have about a 95% filter efficiency or higher. As a rule of thumb, the higher that number goes in the um, certification, the greater the efficacy of the filter. Fit tests are required for professional applications of N95 masks. If you're a nurse, welder, or other professional, you need a fit test. Fit testing is not required at all for personal use or for ASTM level 3 masks. Securely fit the mask over your nose and mouth. Use the head straps or ear loops to hold the mask in place. The top of the mask should rest on the bridge of your nose, and the bottom of the mask should extend past your chin. If you have any questions or would like to purchase some masks for home or professional use, feel free to reach out to us. We can always be found on our website, or you can email us at hello at totalprepare.ca. As always, I'm Court with Total Prepare, reminding you to be prepared, not scared.